Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 30 of Let's Play Victoria Free. Me, the sun never set on the sphere of influence stuff. Uh, what's this? Oh, who gives a shit about the Western Gwent Guinea front? That's like legitimately unimportant. Now we are facing a rebellion, a revolution at the same time as this war, but I think we'll be fine. Now, come on. They are fearful. They, I mean, you can back down if you want to, but I don't think they will. But it's okay. I, I don't have chemical weapons. Uh, what is there? I think they're all... Na oh, wait. Yeah, you're professional. I think B B Belgium is... Yeah, everyone should be professional army at this point. Right. I actually got battles going on. Now, the, I, I feel like I, I don't. I don't know, but I'm assuming chemical warfare isn't going to be as broken as it was in Vicky Two, where you essentially just rocked up. If you had like chemical warfare in Vicky Two, you just won. There was no real argument. It was more of a, oh, you have that. Well, fuck me, basically. It takes too long to get this, to be honest. Uh, well, we just made some more radicals, but we, for the most part, our country's loyal. Like, our country are a lot more loyalist than you would expect them to be. Which is honestly really goddamn good. Um, looks like the French and the uh, Austro-Hungarians are having their war, which is fine. Looks like we, uh, yeah, it looks like we're absolutely massacring the enemy as expected. Oh God, they've lost so many so far already. I wasn't expecting Belgium, the Belgian flank to be much to be fair, but yeah, even this front's not providing really anything against me. I have also a feeling we're not going to get guaranteed liberties because it's just take, it's too slow and I don't think it's just I just don't think it's going to, you know, occur quick enough compared to the actual rebellion. In drafting, but if we get two if we get two more successes instantly, like back to back, it's fine, but until then, yeah, we're a bit screwed. Um Yeah, the, oh god, that army has like no manpower. What the actual fuck? Are they just They're just keeling over it looks like. Uh, he will not join or start a political mutiny. So what's this one? He doesn't want to start anything. Parliamentary Republic. I mean, Guaranteed Liberty is the only one I actually care about, because right? that's actually really good. These fights are... Uh... I'm feeling kind of mean. Like... Wait, what's this? Uh, event for the revolution movement to preserve National Guard. Pentocracy. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll go for this ones right now. Just be, even though I prefer the war, uh, you know, the militarists, I, I, I want to get this to succeed. So, you know, focusing on any way to get it to succeed is definitely the, you know, the only way to go. Right. Uh, it looks like for the most part, Apart from something just popping up in the background because I opened it up. Uh, it looks like we're actually slapping uh, the uh, Spanish. Twenty-five percent revolution. If we can get two sixty-five percent, which I doubt we're going to, we can get that through. But I just don't think it's going to happen. You know, the 
fact that they, they're, they're even this front, they're like, they're pretty much out of manpower. I, to, I don't know what anyone would expect fighting me. Like, it's... Yeah, we've, we've pretty much never, you know... We've, lo we've, ne we've never lost a war, but we've definitely stalled out on wars. But... Yeah. Also, who the fuck is building conscripts? Like, the actual fuck. So we've got conscripts. Conscripts are useless. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, this front's going great. I'd be lying if I said I felt... I didn't feel bad, because I kind of do. Like, I'm just... They're getting... These guys are getting pushed over to, a, like, a degree you just would not... I did not expect. Um... Ooh, fuck no. We'll just do that one, I guess. Wait, we didn't do anything on... Wait, what? I went to war to make Belgium a, my bitch, and I didn't make them my bitch. That's confusing. Like, that's dumb. The actual fuck? I was like, why does Java keep taking over when, like, you know, Bane's right there. <laughs> Most dangerous game. Okay, someone just died. That's... Uh, it doesn't look like anything's, like, changed. That's fine. And like that, Spain is just crumpling underneath the foot. Absolutely gorgeous. Hmm. Up to 63%. Okay, we're getting scarily close now to being screwed. This is, uh, concerning, to say the least. Okay, I need you to, uh, I need you to hurry the sod up and give me those guaranteed liberties. Also, seriously, this, this front's taking time. Come on now, guys. You guys are, my, my guys are legitimately, like, the most broken armies in the world. Come on. Ah, slow the boat. I mean, you push them into a corner, it does take a little bit longer to deal with the rest, but... Yeah, I shouldn't, it shouldn't take this long. There we go. Ah. What does this have that I could possibly give a shit about? Uh, ooh. Quite a bit of industry. Uh, nice bud of urban. Uh, ooh. Some stuff down here. That's nice. Oh yeah, we also split out Catalonia. Seriously, a fucking stall? Oh, sod you, game. I may actually have a rebellion at this fall, at uh, this moment. Alright, first things first. I can't destroy any of you because of the fact that we're, you know, technically still... Wait, are we still at war with Russia? Fucking seriously. We're still classes at war with Russia. That's perfectly fine. Uh, guess we're invading Persia, uh, uh, Prussia, uh, not Ru Prussia, Russia. All while worrying about this stupid revolution. This is definitely not going the way I would have expected to go, you know, given how everything's gone. The only thing we want left now is a liberate... Uh, another one part of Russia for the mean. Like, Russia's not even back to being a great power, and they, they're not gonna get there. Oh, fuck me. That revolution's way too close. If we don't get guaranteed... Oh, wait, guaranteed... You know, we've got no chance. Cancel guaranteed liberties. We're not even through... To we weren't even through to the next level 
Like, there was no fucking way we were getting it done. Uh. Oh, look. The, 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 you've got in over there. Okay, cool. Hessian Corps. And uh, Army of West Indies. Off you go. Yeah, the Greeks are also going to be subjected to definitely not chemical attack. Shut up. We, we wouldn't do that. How much money have I spent on this war? Yep. A lot would be the uh, only real way to phrase that. Hessian Corps. Hi right there, bud. And Army of West Indies. Hi right there, bud. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, the Army of India has no, like... But nobody's in their way. They're just walking in and just massacring people. Uh, declaration for the rights of women. I mean, give them, get her more popular, but I don't think it's going to get us anywhere, to be honest with you, game. Hey, Russia, do you want to just give up and make this easier for everyone? Or are you getting up? Nope, you're going to make me invade you fully. Cool. Wait, my GDP is 300 million and I'm still not above you. 365, there's still 50 million ahead of me. Son of a biscuit. How are the, um, how are the mines doing over here? Oh, damn. Yeah, no one near enough people there. Well, I mean, I built it up, you know, I, I trusted it. Uh... Okay, Rush is actually managing to get people to defend that front. It's a shame that I'm getting, all of my armies are getting back up there now. Benny, you still have great power. Surprisingly, yes. I'm trying. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to kick them in the nuts to get rid of them, but it just... Eh, it's not always that simple, is it? Hmm. Alright. Uh, Moscow's right here. No, that's not Moscow. Where's Moscow? Oh, there. Wait, that's Smolensk. There's Moscow. Yeah, we should have to get Moscow and Russia will probably be bend over and uh, beg for mercy. Oh my god, I could actually make them a minor power if I keep fucking them over so much. I'm going to assume there's a reason the game keeps telling me that, but it's, I'm sure it'll be fine. For some reason, it's not showing me my armies, but... Yeah, they're doing just fine. I mean, they have a 96% chance to win. Or they're, like, it's 96% there, so... I feel like this is just, again, just a slow but sure... And I still didn't... The worst thing is, I didn't even get what I actually entered the war for, which is a protectorate over Belgium. Like, weirdly enough, I never got that, and that is, uh... Yeah, it was very weird. Oh, well. Not much you can really do about it at this point. I don't really feel like going back to war with them and, you know, trying to get it. They have, they have so little manpower. It's beautiful. How much population does Russia have as, like, an actual country? Yeah, they have a lot less than I expected, actually. Don't we already have public schools? Yeah, no, fuck you. Like... Like, I'm not giving them that at all. That would be dumb. That would, like, actually be against what we want. Yeah, at this point, we're just slowly waiting to uh, overrun uh, the Russians and we'll be done. I 
I don't see, there's no re there's no re reason to get a regime change, so... Slowly but surely, uh, we shall be sorted. A good point. What is the, uh... What is the... Yeah, the Russian blocks just... Not looking great, to be honest. But that is okay, you know, that's pretty much what you'd expect. Surprisingly, we haven't smashed into Moscow just yet. If you could focus on getting, uh... Getting the wonderful city of Moscow, that would be great, but, uh... Yeah, you do you guys, you do you. It's like a little- wait, has we got a transportation shortage in- The fact that I hadn't built railroads in, uh, in Wales, that's actually kind of surprising. I thought I had. There we go, now we're invading, uh, Moscow. Uh... And there we go. The Russian capital is now under our control. Wait. Russia, you don't have St. Petersburg as your capital right now, do you? Hmm. I don't remember if Moscow or St. Petersburg was their capital at this period of time. Uh. Don't get that! <laughs> I actually don't remember. Yeah, I legitimately don't remember when they changed capitals and whatnot. I know it was Muscovy for, uh, or Moscow for the longest time. And that's what it is today, but they also changed it back. I, I, I legit don't know, actually. Should take us long to get over there, though, to be fair. I mean, if we look at, like, the global stage, Russia's not exactly proving themselves to be able to do much. Catalonia, do you want to be my bitch? Mm, no, there's no my bitch button there, unfortunately. Alright. Okay, it looks like, yeah, they're, uh... These designate is actually really smart, because it actually does actually... It seems to, like, you know, actually work, and they will, uh... Prioritize mass invading there. this. Hey, microeconomics is done. Good. One more company. What do I want out of this company is the real question. Uh, wait a minute. We don't want any of the established companies. We want a new one, right? What do we want? Extra birth rate sounds like a fucking great idea. But at the same time... Yeah. Sorry, I just had to look over at that. Uh, minting is pointless, because obviously it's not even productivity enough. Extra army offensive, I mean, really, we don't need that. Extra construction efficiency, not necessary. Formation speed would be nice. Uh, not necessary. We don't need more convoys. We don't need more livestock. Well, we can't even get fertilizer plant. That's kind of not bad at all. Migration sounds great, to be honest. Extra tax income. And trade route competitiveness. Don't get me wrong, that sounds nice. But do I need the extra 50 grand? Not really. Minus 10% military goods. There you go. 10 out of 10. Figured out the best one. Extra market impact. Uh, no, I think we're going to finally go for going down to get the best uh, way to build. And I think what we want, the next few couple of things we're going to need to do is just solely focus on conquering Africa before I inevitably come and conquer Europe. So the sole fact of I can conquer Europe, basically, if I wanted to. Uh, we're in 1922, like I said. There's, as far as I'm concerned, there's no end game unless I need, unless the like I, like I'm going to keep going as long as I want to, unless there's a actual like 
something that stops you from doing that. Hessian Core, you're going to... I think I might deploy you to the... No, I don't need to deploy you down there. I'll just, you know, we'll... Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. What does our economy need? Because I need to... I, I, you know what? I have decided that uh, East Anglia... Oh, no, no. East Andalusia. Get you up to... 25. Uh, Western Andalusia... Go. Right, I don't know how much this is going to cost me, so this may actually cost me way more than I was expecting, and I am okay with getting rid of them if I need to. Let's give it three weeks, and then we'll uh, we'll know if we need to get rid of them or not. Worst case scenario, we just need to somehow make more steel. What's this? Uh... Not something I'm interested in. Yeah, you dipshit, you ought to focus on your studies. I agree with that. Yeah, see if we can get all of these construction things built and see how much extra construction we'll get. How does the Highlands not have fucking... Oh my god, Joe. You're an idiot. It'll be fine, I'm sure. He says, not knowing. I'm gonna bankroll you just to make sure I you stay on my side. Okay, we're nearly up to free. We're basically at free files construction, which is great. How is our newest company doing? That's uh, this one, isn't it? Yeah. It's on its way to being uh, there. What is it? You know, what is what affects it? So it's affected by munitions and explosives. I don't know how I don't know how well I'm going to be able to keep that one happy, but we'll we'll do what we can. All right. Construction-wise, I think I'm going to declare war on you now. So if I declared war on you and took you over, Austria-Hungary, who has. So many battalions. Their power projection's 31,000. They actually... Well. They, uh... They're, uh... They're actually... They're up there. Alright, dickhead. Um... Let's do this. We'll do... 10, 20... Wait, 10... We're 88. And I've just increased... Wait. I've increased it by 10. 12? That's not right. Fuck it, whatever. And then 1, 2, 3. Alright, that should fix you. Um... Let me just throw another 10 on there as well. Just because, you know, I want to... There we go. 22. That's actually... Okay, apparently I can. I have to keep it at 15. All right, fair enough, whatever. Uh, do I still have any... Okay, I have no conscripts. That's fine. Yeah, Hessian Core, I want to get you... Let's do this. So... Thirty more, and then we'll do another ten here. Guess you up there, so we need ten, twenty, thirty. I'll do. Yeah, we're basically trying to make sure our army. I I need to fuck up. You know what? I think I need to do a direct war against austria hunger where I bend them over. Slavery and colonial labor are the hypocrisy, of course. My GDP, yeah, my GDP is up and downing at the moment because of, you know, everything I'm doing. Are we friends, Portugal? I can never remember. 
Yeah, I think we're. It's, I think it says we're friends. Yeah, we're in, we're in an alliance. Okay, fair enough. We're friends. The radical Ottoman Empire. Okay. You do you. Yeah, it looks like they've in integrated South Germany. They're probably going to go for a North Germany play soon, and you know, actually get Germany. Let's uh, let's embargo them. Oh, I have so much diplomatic power. Good to know. I mean, I don't really care about it, but sh Holy crap. Hey, Persia's happy. The best part, though, is Persia's red. Tibet. Tibet is now red, too. Makes me happy when they share the same color as me. Makes me feel like I'm doing something right. Holy shit, I'm paying way too much in subsidies. Fuck me. Power plants and railways are expensive. Be like no terminal turmoil because we've got cultural exclusion. I thought that would get rid of all of the turmoil, but apparently fucking not. Um. Yeah, people want suff women like suffrage, but it's it's like women's suffrage, but they they also really don't. It's one of those really awkward moments where like they say they want it, but they don't they don't mean that. So it's really hard to know you know how to you know go about fixing it. Um, we still need to annex you. If I was to conquer you, who would get pissed off of that? No one. Cool. Army of India. I do need to clean up over here. I've left it a little bit too long, you know, to clean it up. Oh, so if I declared war on Sokoto, would that... Wait, can I not declare war on Sokoto? They're a French fucking subject? Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh. You're a French subject as well. What about these cunts? Alright. Um... I can't do anything against you, apparently, though. That's stupid. Uh, anybody helping you? Uh, the Army of India is about to get there. Yep, four days away from being able to use our uh, amazing stuff. Also, realize that armies, our armies are legitimately just amazing. The only thing we haven't got is the, the one thing I kind of want them to have, but... I'd love electric engines, but I'm pretty sure everywhere that can do electric engines already, already is. Right. Um, not domestic, but look at uh, job seekers. Actually, no, we'll keep doing earnings there. Get five in you. You up to ten. Like at this point, we don't really care where the uh, engines cut, where the where the engines come from, just that they're on our market and cheaper. That's that's kind of like the big thing is, as long as they're hit from here, we don't care. Annexing you is going to be a pain in the ass. Who the fuck are you apart? What? Apparently, I can't declare war on any of you. That's okay. We'll do. We'll worry about that later, I guess. 
Unfortunately, though, guys, we're actually going to have to end this part here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. But most importantly, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. Join the channel membership if you're interested, and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys then.